today we're going to analyze three targets. And we're going to try to hit those three targets under whatever's presented at the time. The target's going to be the temple, the jaw, and the back of the neck close to the spine. So, <clears throat> any one of those points can be a standalone knockout, okay? Which is good, right? Or days. Or... Yeah, so if he's not attacking and I come through here, wham! That's a knockout. If I come through here, wham! That's a knockout. Okay. Come through here, wham! That's a knockout, okay? But I might have to hit this one, two, 37 times, I don't, whatever, right? But it is a known knockout. Same thing with a jaw. You hit it, eventually it's a knockout. Same thing back of the neck, close to the spine. So, it, you know, Jim comes this way and I say, bam, right there. Might hit it, bam, okay? And I get, we're going slow, <laughs> okay? And, and obviously he's gonna punch, right? And here, wham! And I go, okay, well, the back of the next a target. I've, I've got him here. I'm going to bust the structure a little bit here. And maybe I'll get that there. Okay? And I might be going, bam, 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 bam. There's the temple again. There's the jaw again. I might be trying to pull him. I might be trying to kick him. I might be here. And here goes some of this We don't know if he's really going to go to his stomach or his back. If he goes to his stomach, of course, the knee will come in here. And again, there's the temple. Bam. Bam. There's the back of the neck. Bam. Bam. Okay. Now, we'll just stay in this position. Of course, you can always, you know, torque this arm if you need to. But we can use those targets to help us uh, to a choke of some sort. Even if you post like he is, you'd come back this way, right? And really mess with that. But here we go. Um, back of the neck. Now you can come across this temple, and that moves his head, which allows you to come up in here. And even these fingers here can come up in the temple to help to get that choke in there, okay? So, pressing on the bladder here, see what it does? That turned his head that way. Oh, that's easy to scoop under there. Coming into the temple, it scoops his head that way. That's easy to come into a choke. Okay, so we got the back of the neck, we got the temple, and the, even even the jaw, you might you might come into the back of the neck here, and then right here on the jaw, you know, okay, right on that corner of this jaw, that knuckles in there, helping me get in here, okay, to get that choke. Now he might roll on his back. <laughs> yeah, just depends which arm you have. Okay, I would like to cross him this way. Okay, now again, temple, jaw, you're just not sure what he's, what he's, what he's gonna do, okay? But again, you can start getting on up, and this is just ground pound. I won't hold this arm for very long because he's gonna get away, okay? And, and still, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try to get there, and then if he turns, there's the temple maybe, if he turns this way, there's the back of the net, and this is okay too because you're still, temple, Back of the neck, okay? And you're working the pressure points here, maybe. Yeah. Right there, he's he's in pain. I could be in pain here, too. Yeah. You might get your choke, your stemple, okay? But we're still... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was being nice to me, <laughs> and I was being nice to him on a certain level. But look at it these days, okay? I'm tired because I'm old, but... Oh, look at the camera. <laughs> okay, he's exhausted and... And... You know, he just... Yeah. His, like, he's shaking out his jaw. That hurt a little so, bit. His eyes are just slightly dilated. And he's struggling. And he's panicking. And, you know, he would have hit me a couple of times, I'm sure. But all I focused on, I didn't even think about a technique too much. Of course, the more you do it, the more technique will show up. But temple, jaw, back of neck, 
and a decent outcome.